Hi guys, welcome to Tutes Online. Today I'm going to take you through the ethmoid boat. This is an unpaired bone. And it articulates with the frontal bone, the sphenoid bone, nasal bone, the lacrimal bone, the palatine bone, the inferior nasal concha, the voma, and the maxilla. Here we're looking at the posterior aspect of the ethmoid bone. And first we need to orientate ourselves. And we do this by looking at some features. Here is what's known as the crista galli. And this is where the fulc cerebri attaches. Down here, this is what is referred to as the perpendicular plate. So we know that this is superior and this is inferior. We'll look at the lateral portions of the ethmoid bone now. We can see this feature down here. This is referred to as the middle nasal concha. And above it is the superior nasal concha. Just below the superior nasal concha is the superior meatus. Above these two features is a portion of the bone referred to as the labyrinth, and this is where the ethmoidal air cells are located. And these air cells are also referred to as the ethmoidal sinuses. This second projection here is referred to as the uncinate process. Now we are looking at the superior aspect of the ethmoid bone. Here in the midline is the crista galli. And lateral to the crista galli is this perforated portion of bone which allows the transmission of the olfactory epithelial cells and we refer to this as the cribiform plate and these cells make contact with the olfactory bulbs which lie on top of the cribiform plate. The crystal galli is steeped anteriorly so we know that this is anterior and so this must be posterior. And that about wraps it up for the ethmoid bone. Thanks for watching guys I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions please feel free to comment. Make sure you visit our website or subscribe if you want to learn more about forensic anatomy. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.